still with you. I know it's been a minute, but check this out. I want to show you something. Um, this for the Gambino family right here. You know what I'm saying? You made a good video earlier. I wanted to just um, show a little something about that. So, you see uh, Claudette Colvin. Claudette, that was a melanated sister. Melanated sister. All right. They gave Rosa Parks all her juice off of this melanated sister because, of course, Rosa Parks looks just like what you would call an Indian. Or you would say, hey, my grandma looked like an Indian. My grandma looked just like an Indian because she had straight hair. No, Indians didn't have straight hair. They have hair like you do. So check this out. In March 1955, nine months before Rosa Parks defined segregation laws by refusing to give up her seat to a white passenger on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. Montgomery being actually a name that's um, Cherokee, Montgomery, okay, Alabama. 15 years old, Claudette did the exact same thing. She did the same thing, right? Eclipsed by Parks, eclipsed by Parks, and her act of defiance was largely ignored for many years. It's been forever, because I don't know if y'all know about her, but she did the same thing Rosa Parks did. I'm going to tell you, Rosa Parks, she went to college, man. She was in a sorority. That's how the shit go. You have to get in the sorority or fraternity to turn your back on your people. Why do you think you got to do that to get in any sports? Think about it. In all sports, you got to. When you enter any sport, it, it's, it's a big fraternity, sorority. If you're in the WNBA, I mean, a lot of those is dudes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just be real. It's all twisted on us, man. So, check this out. Why is Claudette Colvin, Colvin not as famous as Rosa Parks? She did, she, Colvin did not receive the same attention as Parks for a number of reasons. She did not have good heart, good hair, her. She was not fair-skinned like Rosa Parks was. You see, she was a teenager and she got pregnant. She was 15 years old and pregnant on that bus. You know what I'm saying? She just won't have it that day. The leaders in civil rights movements tried to keep up appearance and make sure the most appealing protesters was most seen. So Rosa Parks was appealing. Excuse me for, you know, my speech right now. I'm in a lot of pain, man, but I I got to do this. So this is the person that actually did it. She don't get no credit. Not a tad bit. But this is the woman. <laughs> She's looking more like our grandparents and stuff, right? Rosa Parks, that was homegrown. This was nine months later. Rosa Parks was nine months after. They was like, okay, we got something. Maybe we should just rock with it. Who want to do it? Who want to do it? Come on now. We got to stop falling for it, man. Just like they make the Indians look they like they all had straight hair, all that stuff. It's the same difference, man. They got to just hijack us, man. It's just the... Come on now, man. We so... We so uh, contagious in a sense. Not like with the Rona or nothing. But, you know, we just... We inspire. We inspire. And then they always put somebody out there to take the credit for us, right? So this is the real Rosa Parks. 
it's a real deal. 15 and pregnant. Probably was married at thing 15 to back in them days. Yeah. They tried to tell her to sit in the damn back. She said, nope. They always use those colleges and everything like that to get to us, don't they? They think they're getting our smartest people, you know, because these are the people that's getting that higher education with quotations. The higher education is not. It's not. It's higher indoctrination. But yeah, I get back with you.